So, oh my god, guys, do we have a topic to talk about for tonight's segment? Oh, everyone has been talking about it. everyone has downloaded, everyone has been playing it. Pokemon Go. It's the newest app that lets you use, like, your location and walk around and start throwing Pokeballs, set lures to battle people, and, like, send invitations to tell everyone, oh, this Pokemon is here, this Pokemon is there, and so on. You can get gyms and yada, 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 yada. It's getting out of hand. Like, it's unbelievable what is, like, this is turned into. I, like, think about it. Yes, this is a, a fantastic app. A lot of people have played Pokemon when they were younger, and they couldn't really go on with it. Yes, it had to deal with cards. Yes, it had to deal with um, a game on the on the uh, Game Boy. And I honestly, I have never played Pokemon. I never got into it. I never liked it, and I couldn't really get into it. And I, I didn't download this. I have not downloaded this app at all. But think about it, everyone who has has Pokemon Go and everything. Setting those lures shows your location, and it makes everyone come towards you. And that is the easiest way to get scammed, robbed, and killed. We've already heard news. Someone has a been killed because of a lure. And so many people have been robbed because of it. And you are trespassing on some people's properties. Oh, there's a Pokemon on there. But you have no right to be on that person's property. So, and you're just... Sometimes it's being a disturbance to the public itself. You may not agree, but check out this video. Look at this. There's a Vaporeon that spawned right there, so everyone's running. <laughs> There's a what there? You told me you were There's a Vaporeon. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, I like Now, I couldn't obviously do the whole video because it's not my video at all. This is just a video I was sent to me on Facebook by my friend Robbie aka Toxin. So shout out to him for sending this to me and agreeing on how ridiculous this actually is. So this is a bit of a long segment just because I am going on and on and on and on about how horrible it is. There is some benefits to it honestly if you think about it. It does get a lot of lazy people who are sitting in all day playing games and all that. And I'm not saying like some people do it as their job, that's okay. But it, it is get some people off their couch, chair, anything, and go out and do something. But there are so many crowds just like that video that it's starting to be too much. And you can seriously hurt someone. I've heard of people Pokemon and going on like car rides. Like so they could be driving and trying to find Pokemon. That is not good, that's not safe, that's worse than texting and driving. So, I, I honestly have never experienced so maybe I just need to download it and try it out if you think so, just let me know in the comments. But, to end off this segment, I honestly think this is a ridiculous game. Um, they, they did a well, a very good job honestly for it, but people need to think before they use this, and especially when it comes to lures. Because you are going into, unless you know the place yourself, I honestly would not be screwing around with those. And I just, if you're going to keep playing Pokemon and Go, please be safe and smart about it. But uh, that's going to do it for today's segment, guys. It's been your boy Ace, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. It's been your boy Ace, and I am out of here. Peace.